misty mountains cold to dungeons deep and caverns old the pines were roaring on the height the winds were moaning Like torches blazed with Rush. Just barely made it here in time, so you know you got to make your way into the, the uh, Hermitage here, check in, pay your money, then get on the bus to go to the lake. Have a look out your left-hand side window. Mount Sefton is the third largest mountain in this national park. It's pretty amazing. random school kids I guess Valuables in the box. Put your life jacket on. Yeah, if you get your group and get them. You just come this way for me, guys. Just make sure that life jackets are all nice and tight. A few of the bits. Now you might notice we're not looking at the glacier at the moment. It used to be about. Uh, 10, 20 meters higher, and then there was a, uh, a landslide in the early 90s, and it brought the peak down by, by 10, 20 meters, making it that little bit easier to climb. But it's still really, really difficult. More people get up Mount Everest every year than that one. All right, guys, so we've got three different in layman's terms, and if anyone's a geologist, you're welcome to put me right on this, but in simple terms, we've got three types of ice here on the lake, okay? We've got the glaciers. Now, a glacier is ice, it comes down the side of a mountainside, 
that is growing. This is a weird in-between point, guys. We call this the dead ice, okay? Nothing to do with Game of Thrones. It's an orphan peak. 15 years ago, the glacier was here. And then it advanced 800 meters, retreated, sorry, 800 meters in one year, leaving this piece behind. It's a kilometer long, 200 meters wide, and about 100 meters deep. And it's very well protected from the sun. This blue ice over here, guys, this is quite a rare sight to see it that blue and that vivid. Well worth the zoom up on the camera, I think. So there you have it guys, the largest glacier in New Zealand. We can see about 30 meters sticking up out of the water. What's really impressive though is the So 30 meters above and at its deepest point it goes right down to the bottom of the lake, which I said before was 240. If you look at these bits on the side, these are called lateral moraines or glacial scarring. Times those cliffs by two and a bit, that's how much ice is beneath the surface. Pretty incredible. Tie the boat up. If everyone could stay sat down while that happens. Look at me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm wet. You wet your pants. So yeah, the wind kicked up quite a wee bit there at the end and um, we got pretty wet. Not intentional, but shit happens, you know. That was Tasman Glacier Lake. Unfortunately, not many icebergs to be honest. Because pretty much all the icebergs that used to be in the, in the lake have melted, unfortunately. Do you think it, uh, you think they should drop the price maybe? Hello? Should they drop the price? I think so. It just like uh, you, you just ride a, a jet boat on, on a glacier lake. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> because no, no iceberg anymore. Yeah. It's completely gone. And uh, it's huge different from uh, last year and the year before. I came here in the past two years. Every time you can see the iceberg and the floating ice, but now it's nothing, nothing left, unfortunately. 
I guess most tourists that come here don't have the latest spaces for comparison. But tour guide does. <laughs> she knows. Look at that, yeah. false advertising. <sighs> there ain't no icebergs that yeah, the boat goes up to. 